guys, my name is Lukis and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial we will be looking at how you can mix piano and guitar together. Piano and guitar are two instruments which are very rich in frequencies, which means that when you have both of them in a mix, song, remix or whatever you're doing, it can be hard to hear both of them at the same time. There is a way around the problem because you need to focus on which of the instruments which are the main instrument for your mix. For instance, if your guitar is the main instrument, then you want the piano to not be turned all the way down in volume, but you need it to be maybe EQ'd a bit more in the, the low end, and maybe you need it to be panned in the right direction. I will be using FL Studio for this one, but you can use any music program out there. You just need to know where your guitar sounds and piano sounds are located and where your EQs and all that kind of effects stuff are located as well. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so here we are in FL Studio, and as you can see, we have two setups. We have a main guitar and a main piano, which means that right here the guitar will be our main instrument, and right here the piano will be the main instrument. All the, the patterns, the, the MIDI files sound the same. This is the piano one. And this is the piano two. The guitar one sounds like this. And the guitar two sounds like this. So the thing that we want to do now is to mix them. So if we start by the main guitar, we will go to the guitar and we will add an equalizer. So now we want to figure out where the frequencies from the guitar are located because we need the main frequencies to be in focus. We don't need to EQ all of them away. So if we start by figuring out where the frequencies are located. So now I have EQ'd the guitar and I don't want it to be EQ'd anymore right now because this is our main instrument. And because this is our main instrument, we also need it to be in the center of the mix. So if we go to the piano, we want to EQ it a bit more. We want to remove the bass frequencies because we want it to be in the sides of the mix. So let's do that. So now the first sounds like this. And without the EQs it sounds like this. And as you can hear, it already sounds much cleaner. So the thing that we want to do the piano is to find the fruity stereo enhancer right here. And then we really want to listen to the piano only and we want the piano to be in the, in the sides of the mix. So now the, the piano is in stereo, and before it was in mono, which sounded like this. And now it is in stereo. And I think I want to EQ it a bit more. I want to remove some more bass. Just like that. And now the, it sounds like this. As you can hear, we have the piano in the sides and we have the guitar in the middle. Um, and this is how I would do it if I were to mix it as the guitar, as the main instrument. That sentence was so wrong. So um, let's go to the second segment. We have the main instrument as our piano. So the piano sounds like this. And the guitar sounds like this. As you can hear, it is the exact same thing as the first one, but now we want to mix it differently. So the piano needs to be mixed in the middle as the main instrument. So if we find an equalizer, we will do the exact same thing as we did to the guitar before. We want to figure out which frequencies are the most important frequencies. <laughs> and 
And this is the main instrument. Now, if we listen to this one compared to the first piano, there is a huge difference because we have so less space on this piano than we have in this piano. So now we want to mix the guitar. We want to remove most of the bass frequencies. We don't want to... Sorry, that was the wrong one. We don't want to remove all of the frequencies because a guitar consists of low frequencies. But let's figure out how much. So this was the first guitar, and this is the second guitar. You can hear it is much lighter than the first one. So now we want to stereo separate this again with a fruity stereo enhancer. And I think we need to remove some more frequencies. So now it sounds like this. So the first thing we did was to make the guitar as our main instrument, and it sounded like this. Here we had the piano in the sides and the guitar in the middle, and then we made the piano sound as the main instrument. Here we have the piano in the middle and the guitar in the side. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you do it. It's really easy. Of course, there is EQ, there is reverb, there is dynamic EQ, there is mid-side EQ. You can always add this later, but this is really the basics on how you can do it. This is how I do it most of the time. And yeah, so comment if you have any suggestion. Consider subscribing, like or whatever. Um, I'll say thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.